Super Mario Galaxy. Galaxy! It's a game with a lot of high points, but one moment that always stuck out to me for some reason was that opening. Of course, it's not the only Mario game with an opening. They've been doing that since Super Mario World. But this one is the most elaborate up to that point. And it needed to be, as you can't just plop Mario into space and expect people to run with it. We start the game on a bit of backstory, explaining the Star Festival and whatever this Grand Star thing is. It's got some charming drawings and the gorgeous Luma theme in the background. Then we see Mario getting a Mario 64 reference in the mail. I love this little shot of him running up with his arms spread out like Nyeow. This shot right here is Mario's personality to me. The music and atmosphere at the Star Festival is very relaxed and lighthearted. The only real challenge is grabbing these star bits, which isn't a lot, but it's a thought that counts. Mostly you're just pressing on to see what this festival is like, and to hear what the toads have to say. This one toad is spinning and that's funny. But then... The music cuts to a more intense track when Bowser starts attacking. And the cinematography is surprisingly stunning considering this is what we had at the last game. The cuts even line up with the music, you love to see it happen. You immediately see and hear how dangerous this situation is. For instance, there are meteors. The first one is really just for show, like it won't even fire if you stand in its way. The second ones can hit you if you go out of your way to get hit by them. Now the last ones are right in the middle of the main path, though still very easy to plan around. The intensity is only ramped up as the entire castle is captured through means of this UFO that Bowser just had on his offhand. Gee, how could this get any worse? Kamek swoops in, talks at you like this for some reason, and flings Mario into space. And then, silence. In contrast to what we just witnessed, the planet Mario wakes up on is peaceful and safe, but also isolated and alone. I mean, except for these rabbits that you have to chase. It can admittedly get a bit annoying, but at least they get tired after a little while, which makes it a bit easier. I also like the xylophone they add to the song during this part, and the percussion when you actually start a chase with them, and then how it fades back into the beautiful original arrangement. Then you meet Rosalina. She's cool. She's also one of the most fleshed out characters in the Mario universe, but anyway. She lets the Luma grant you the power of motion controls. The next few tutorials will be all about this new spin move. When you set out into the rest of the galaxy, the music shifts to a more adventurous tune, letting you know that the journey has truly begun. There are three relatively simple challenges, finding either star chips or keys. The meteors are back, and these Goombas and black holes also join in on the fun. And there are also whatever these things are that I just now found out send out shockwaves when you spin them. Huh. Then you see a grand star trapped. Oh right, it's that thing from the intro. Cool. Already they're trusting you with the big boy stars. It is just a simple matching puzzle with these easy to hit panels in the middle. And these ones where you've got to sort of swoop in between the electricity. Or you could hit it from the side, but that's cheating. And the atmosphere is harsh and mechanical, but it's not the worst that you've dealt with to this point. And finally, you grab the Grand Star and take it to the Comet Observatory to power part of it on. See that? You did that. Nice, nice job. It ends on one last conversation, prepping you for the rest of the journey ahead. And what a journey it is. But even throughout the entire game, I still never forgot that opening. Like it always sort of stuck out in the back of my mind. So you can imagine my excitement when I found out that you could actually replay it later in the game. They even use it to test out this criminally underused flying power-up. Though it doesn't replay the Star Festival sequence, unfortunately. Gee, I wonder if there's any method of unlocking such a level. It's very clear that a lot of passion was put into this introduction. It accomplishes what a good opening should, teasing the great challenges you'll face in the future, while in practice being very simple to understand and accomplish. I love how each moment greatly contrasts each other in tone. It presents this game's range straight to the player. Most of this is accomplished by an incredible sequence of songs, which are great on their own, but are enhanced with the context that each one provides. 
It overall leads to a fantastic first impression for a fantastic game.